Welcome to this video on financial literacy, the skill that can help you make the most of your money and achieve your financial dreams. In this video, you will learn what financial literacy is, why it matters, and how money works in different aspects of your life. Whether you want to buy a house, travel the world, start a family, or retire comfortably, this video will give you the tips and tools you need to make smart financial choices. So stay tuned until the end and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Did you ever learn about money in school? Did your parents teach you how to manage your finances? Or did you have to figure it out on your own? If you're like many people, you probably didn't get much formal education on money matters. That means a lot of us are missing some essential knowledge and skills when it comes to handling our money. So what is financial literacy and why does it matter? Financial literacy is the ability to understand and use various financial skills and concepts to make informed and effective decisions with your money. It covers a range of topics such as earning income, budgeting, saving, investing, paying off debt, protecting yourself financially, and managing your overall finances. Financial literacy is important because it can help you achieve the lifestyle you want, avoid financial pitfalls, and prepare for unexpected events. Here are some of the benefits of being financially literate. You can save more money by creating a realistic budget, tracking your spending, and setting aside money for your short-term and long-term goals. You can grow your money by investing wisely, taking advantage of compound interest, and diversifying your portfolio. You can reduce your debt by paying off high-interest loans first, avoiding unnecessary fees, and negotiating better terms with your creditors. You can protect your money by choosing the right insurance products creating an emergency fund, and safeguarding your personal information from fraud and identity theft. You can plan for your future by setting up a retirement account, contributing regularly, and adjusting your strategy according to your life stage and risk tolerance. Being financially literate can make a big difference in your quality of life, happiness, and peace of mind. But how do you become financially literate? How do you learn the basics of money management and apply them to your own situation? How do you keep up with the changing financial landscape and the new products and services available? That's what this video is all about. So are you ready to take charge of your finances and improve your financial literacy? Then let's get started with the first topic, how money works. Your income is the cornerstone of your personal finances. The more solid and stable your income, the easier it will be to manage the rest of your financial goals. But don't settle for just one income stream. If you want to boost your earning power, you should explore other ways to make money. Here are seven different types of income streams you can create. One, earned income. This is the most common and usually the main source of income for most people. It's the money you get from working a job, typically from nine to five. This type of income depends on your skills and the hours you can work each day, but it also has its limitations and drawbacks. For example, a software engineer earns money by coding and working every day, but there are some limitations to earned income. It means that we will get paid a fixed hourly rate or an annual salary, which can limit our financial growth. Also, we might have to sacrifice our time for money, and that can make us feel exhausted or affect our personal lives. Promotions, raises, and bonuses are the only ways to move up in earned income. It shows how hard work and skills can impact our financial growth. We should understand these dynamics to manage our finances and progress in our careers. 2. Profit Income this is the money you make from selling a product or a service for more than it costs you to create or provide it. This is the income of business owners and entrepreneurs. This type of income has the potential to grow exponentially and has no ceiling on how much you can earn. But it also comes with more risk and uncertainty. Let's say a little bakery is selling fancy pastries and they charge more than what they spend on ingredients and labor. The extra cash they make is the profit income. Unlike regular income, this type of income can make you really rich if you're good at what you do. If a business does well, it can grow and reach even more people. But there are also risks involved, like the economy being bad or competition getting too high. So being smart and flexible is a must when it comes to making profit income. 3. Interest income. This is the money you earn from lending your money to others. For example, you can put your money in a high-interest savings account, bonds, or guaranteed investment certificates, GICs. This type of income usually requires a large amount of capital to generate a significant return. But it also has the advantages of being risk-free and very passive. Bonds are another example of interest income where you lend money to governments or corporations and get periodic interest payments and the principal back when it matures. 
Interest income is less risky compared to other types of investment, but it may not have the same growth potential. It's a good option for people who want a stable and secure financial return without dealing with day-to-day -day management. 4. Dividend Income This is the money you receive for owning shares of a company that pays dividends. Dividends are regular payments that companies make to their shareholders from their profits. All you need to do is buy shares of a dividend-paying company and you'll get a dividend check, usually every three months. This type of income is also passive and can grow over time as the company increases its dividends. Imagine you've invested in a tech company, and as their profits shoot up, they decide to start paying dividends. All in all, dividend income is an excellent way for you to earn some money without doing too much work. And as the company prospers, your income might just grow too. 5. Rental Income This is the money you collect from renting out an asset that you own. This could be anything from a house to a car to a piece of equipment. This type of income can provide a steady cash flow and increase the value of your asset. But it also requires maintenance, management, and dealing with tenants. While rental income can be a good source of money, you need to stay on top of everything to succeed. It's a bit of a balancing act between making money without too much effort and staying active in your property ownership and leasing. 6. Capital Gains This is the money you make from selling an asset for more than you bought it for. Two common examples are stocks or a house. This is why many people invest in the stock market and in real estate. This type of income can offer a large lump sum and tax benefits, but it also depends on market conditions and timing. However, the value of your assets can also go down, and if you sell them at the wrong time, you might lose money. To get the most out of your investments, you need to be smart, keep an eye on the market, and know the tax rules. 7. Royalty Income This is the money you get from allowing someone to use your property. This property is usually some form of intellectual property such as music, books, pictures, patents, or even a franchise. This type of income source requires some work up front to create or acquire the property. But once it's done, it can become passive and last for a long time. Think of a photographer who licenses their photos for commercial use. Every time someone uses their photos, they earn royalties. This type of income is great for creators and inventors because they can use their creative assets to make money continuously. It's all about putting in effort up front and then sitting back and enjoying the passive income in the long run. The more of these seven income streams you have, the more money you'll make. And if you lose your job, you won't be in trouble because you have other sources of income to fall back on. These seven income sources can be classified as either active income or passive income. Active income means you have to work actively to get paid. Passive income means you can make money while you sleep. If you want to increase your income, you'll need income sources that pay more and require less time. Many of these income sources are forms of investing. Investing in a business that can pay you profit income, investing in real estate that can pay you rental income or capital gains, and investing in the stock market that can pay you dividend income and capital gains are some examples of how you can invest your money to create more income streams. Hope you found this video valuable. Kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this.